The drama presentation you are about to see from Holder Glen High School looks at how inhumanity has surfaced in the most horrific ways in different parts of the world. Beginning with Auschwitz and moving chronologically through Cambodia, Rwanda and Bosnia, the message is that evil does exist in the world and yet we can have hope that there will still be a voice to stand against it. As the saying goes, all it takes for evil to triumph is for good people to do nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, Calder Glen High School. Country. The fate of Cambodia shocked the world when the Khmer Rouge seized power in 1975 and created Year Zero. All towns and cities were emptied, no one was excused. This was the time of the killing fields, lawyers, doctors, teachers, 
engineers, scientists, and qualified professionals in any field were murdered, along with their extended families. Victims of the Khmer Rouge could be shot for knowing the foreign language, wearing glasses, laughing, crying, or expressing love for another person. In just 100 days in 1984, 1 million Tutsis were murdered in the Rwanda genocide. The President's plane had been shot down and Tutsis were blamed. Men, women and children were killed in their thousands in churches and schools. The genocide was carried out almost entirely by hand, almost using all musettes and clubs. The victims, in their last moments alive, were faced by another appalling fact. Their cold-blooded killers were people they knew. Neighbours, workmates, former friends, sometimes even relatives they manage.
disintegration of Yugoslavia, Bosnia declared independence. This declaration was resisted by the Bosnian Serbs, who set about isolating ethnic groups and, if necessary, exterminating them. In July 1995, Bosnian Serb troops and paramilitaries descended on Srebrenica and began shelling it. Despite being declared a safe zone by the United Nations, women and children were forced onto trucks and buses. Men and boys remained. At least 7,500 men and boys over 13 years old were killed. Up to 3,000, many in the act of trying to escape, were shot or decapitated in the fields. 1,500 were locked in a warehouse and sprayed with machine gun fire grenades. Others died in the houses and farms, football fields and school playgrounds. As others fled for their lives, one man, a Catholic priest, returned to hell. He was Tomislav Matanovich. I was next door watching television. There's no need to worry. I do worry. Your father's been out sleeping. You know not to leave the house. It's dark outside. Please follow. The police gave me permission to go, Mother. You know we're not risking family. Cousin should not have asked you to go. You're going to come to the house next door with you. He has more sense than you think. He saw the soldiers who destroyed the church, and he knows the police to guard the door. They'll not do anything stupid. The police don't need another excuse to destroy our home or take you away again. Did Father tell you what happened? Especially you know nothing, then you can tell me lies if you're asked. Thomas, where have you been? I've been out. Did anyone No one. Except a child. A little girl. I thought all the children had gone. Thomas, what happened? Again, it's better you know nothing. The police go to bed as late. Thomas, Please. Something had happened during the day, and for the first time, Cromwell was visibly frightened. His cousin had tried to persuade him to escape. Thomas, what refused? Saying he was concerned for the safety of police officers on duty outside of the house he left. It seems that one of the guards was a former school friend and tumbled him on to get into trouble. Thomas Lantanovich? Yes. You're under arrest. Where is your mother? Where else would she be at two in the morning? She's in bed. Get her. Please, I'll, I'll come with you. My father will be home soon. Your father's with us in the car outside. Move. On 2 a.m. on the 19th of September 1985, Tom and his parents were wandered out of the house, handcuffed and driven away. They disappeared. This case was taken up by Amnesty International, even by President Clinton, but no one knew. We're going to see the Tom and his parents were and what happened to them. Evidence given to Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International suggests that they were driven to the self-controlled and ethically cleansed area of the town, but they were shot in the back of the head and their bodies thrown down the well. A returning Muslim family discovered them in 2001. After DNA identification, they were buried in Kreekdor. In February 2004, 11 Serbian police officers stood trial for the illegal detention of Tom, but the case collapsed due to lack of support from the local authorities. Most of the police officers allegedly involved are still serving in Peter today.